Good morning students. Today we are going to recapitulate the first chapter of your grammar book that is sentences. At first sentences. So what is a sentence? A sentence is a group of words that express a complete thought. For example, Shushant is going to school. This is a sentence because it expresses a complete thought. Next, a sentence must minimally have a subject and a verb. For example, Rohit walks. Here, the subject is Rohit and the verb is walks. And this express a complete thought. So, Rohit walks is also an example of sentence. Sometimes, Subject can be omitted if it is understood. For example, if I ask you or if I say to you, get out. You will easily understand that I am asking you to get out. Here the subject in the sentence is omitted since it is understood to be you. Now the next topic phrases. At first we have to learn what is Phrase. A phrase is a group of words that make sense but not complete sense. For example, old and weak. Last month, a rainy morning. We cannot call any group of words a phrase. For example, played park football. Here you can see these are a group of words but as it does not make any sense, so, we cannot call it a phrase. But if we say a good student, it does convey a sense. So, we can call it a phrase. Now, a phrase is a group of words that does not contain a subject and verb and is used as part of speech. A phrase cannot stand alone as a sub-sentence. Now, what is the difference between phrase and sentence? A phrase is a group of words that does not express a complete thought. But a sentence is a group of words that expresses a complete thought. A phrase does not have a subject or predicate or both. A sentence has both subject and predicate. A phrase does not give complete information about the subject or predicate. A sentence gives complete information about the subject or predicate. Next, parts of a sentence. Subject and predicate. Subject is the person or thing about which something is being stated. For example, John is a good boy. Who is a good boy? The answer is John. Here, John is the subject. So, identifying the verb, if we ask question using the WH words who or what, the answer would be the subject. Whereas, the subject is the first part of a sentence, predicate is the second part of the sentence. Predicate says something about the subject. Leaving the subject, the rest part of the sentence is a predicate. For example, Rehan loves to play cricket. Here the subject is Rehan. And if we leave the subject, that is Rehan, the rest part of the sentence, that is, loves to play cricket, will be the predicate. Right? Next, kinds of sentences. There are four types of sentences. Assertive or declarative. Command or imperative. Question or interrogative. And exclamatory. Simple or declarative sentences. These sentences are used to state information. They may state a fact or an opinion. 
they are the most commonly used sentence type most academic writing employs simple or declarative sentence declarative sentences end with a period for example research on the topic suggests that grammar is an essential to success my essay is better than yours next command or imperative imperative sentences give a command a request advice a suggestion a warning or a wish they can be followed by a period a question mark or an exclamation mark for example open the window this is a command please have a seat a request obey your parents and advice enjoy yourselves a wish the simple subject of an imperative sentence is usually you for example turn to page 37 that means you turn to page 37 if a person's name is included in an imperative sentence it is a direct address not the subject for example john turn to page 37 it means john you turn to page 37 Imperative sentences may be written like a question but they are not asking anything For example will you please mind your manners So here this is a question but the sentence is not asking anything rather we can say that it is a command so this is an imperative sentence but it is a question in form next question or interrogative sentences these sentences ask questions accordingly they end with a question mark for example what are you doing Have you completed your work? She is the daughter of an MLA, isn't she? There are three types of questions: WH word type question, yes no type question, and tag or tail question. In English, interrogative questions often begin with interrogative words or wh words like who when where why what and how for example why are you late what time is it where is the library yes no type question interrogative sentences without wh words are generally formed by moving the helping verb before the subject For example, did you complete the assignment? Are you busy? Next, tag or tail question. A question fragment can be added on to the end of a declarative or imperative sentence. For example, you have answered all the questions on this test, haven't you? so here the tag question is after a declarative sentence close the window will you here the tag question is after an imperative sentence exclamatory sentences exclamatory sentences exclaim or show great emotion exclamatory sentences end with exclamation mark for example she is going to fall wow 
that magic trick was amazing exclamatory sentences can begin with question words for example what beautiful weather we are having today how lovely to see you here we can see these are the examples of exclamatory sentences but begin with a wh word so children keep on practicing from the exercise of your grammar book thank you have a nice day